Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another installment of what I'm playing today. I'm hopping in with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. Um, I have no idea why I'm playing this. Much like much like most of my uh, most of my videos, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just hopping in playing some games that I find enjoyable. So of course we gotta start off with City Escape. I guess actually the reason I'm doing this is because I want to test out recording straight from the Wii. Um, you know, because I have a few GameCube games that I'd probably end up LPing one of these days. So I figured, why not check this out? I was actually considering doing Sunshine, but I was like, eh, I might just save that for when I actually let's play that game. Because I'm pretty sure I will. That's like the, my favorite 3D Mario game. Um, so yeah, I have the Hop Hog hooked up to the to the Wii via the component cable, same ones I used this is going terribly, uh, <laughs> by the same ones I use for the Wii U recordings that I do. So hopefully it comes out well enough, comes out nice looking um, on my channel. I've, I've done some test runs for, uh, ooh, some test runs for, what was it, my PS2 back before I even started Let's Playing before. So, um, you know, I have, I know what those look like, and those look, eh, yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were videos, let's, let's say that. Um, so I don't know, maybe this will come out looking nicer, who knows, I'll have to tinker around with some stuff, but uh, I figured why not, it's a nice Saturday afternoon, the same day I recorded a bunch of Super Mario World, or new or Super Mario 3D World, and the Hyrule Warriors, whoa, that's kind of creepy, the Hyrule Warriors, what I'm playing, so I figured, let's just try this out. But of course, City Escape, I mean, I'm probably going to reiterate this when I play this game for Let's Play, but uh, I mean, City Escape, you can't. You have to start with it. I mean, I was like, you know, maybe I don't want to do the first stage because, okay, it's it's the first stage. And if I talk about it now, what will I talk about when I let's play it? But screw that. It's City Escape. Uh, I still can't remember the guys who did this song. I want to I, I wanna say his name is Tom something. I, I cannot remember for the life of me, though. That will definitely flash on screen. But I, I love this game. Um, you know, I, I just realized I... <laughs> I haven't played Sonic Adventure 2, or Sonic Adventure for the channel in a while. I have like five episodes recorded, and that was like back when I started Let's Playing. So, I don't know when I'm going to finish Sonic Story. I hope you aren't waiting for that, because I don't know when I'm going to finish that. I'm really focusing on getting through uh, Super Mario 3D World, but I, I will get around to Sonic Adventure. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. This game, it's... For as much as I enjoy Sonic Adventure, this game is something that I can play all around and I can say I enjoy the game. You know, the mech sections, while not you know the best, not, not my favorite part of the game, I don't go back to them, you know, they're tolerable while you play them, so I, I can't complain on that front. And I could never I don't even know if it's possible to hit that ramp. I wish I wish I could see I don't think I've ever looked at anybody up doing it, but I'll have to check that out once we free them. Go! Only person to get hit by the gun truck. I think Big the Cat's in this level somewhere. Uh, is he in there? He's on one of these streets, I believe, yeah, in this, in the Adventure Battle version. So, but that truck has nothing on that truck that's on acid in Sonic, uh, yes! Sonic Generations. That truck. Nice little Sonic, I guess that's Sonic Advance in the background. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever gotten a B, an A rank. Yeah, I've never 100% of this game. I've never played 3D Green Hill. Um, I'm not going to do all the missions so that I can play a 3D rendition of something that already exists. So, sorry if that disappoints you, but not on my, uh, not on my list of things to do. Let's go with, uh, White Jungle's pretty good. Um, I don't really want to do Aquatic Mine. I'm doing a Knuckles level. Uh, I'm going to do Meteor Herd. I love this level so hard. This is probably one of my favorite levels in the game. I love the music. The I mean... If you go to my channel about section, you'll see that I love Knuckles rap songs, but I, I really do love this. I think part of the other reason why I wanted to record this, um, I was thinking about like making a channel intro or a, like a video intro almost, um, like different clips from various games. That seems to be the way to go, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I was thinking about doing that, but I figured why not just test out the recording, see what everything looks like, and. Uh, why can't I find anything? Oh well. I just I could spend hours in this level. I, I love how everyone like hates this level, or a lot of people hate this level. Um, and I'm like, you know, the thing is, I could see I can see why. It's a big level, a big friggin' level. 
and wow that was perfect two more, left. two more left i love oh what is his name knuckles voice actor it's not scott someone it's someone is it, i don't know if it's scott dryer i don't know if that was a, i can't remember but i love i love knuckles voice i love i love this game this game is amazing um but yeah this level it's it's vertical and it's big i'm not gonna lie it's huge but I still find it fun. I think the background music is what does it for me. Like I can, I literally, I'll play this level a hundred times, and I, well, I have played this level probably more than a hundred times. And see, look, I have what two emeralds already. It's a minute and twenty-two seconds in. This isn't that bad. Like if you know what you're doing, I mean, not to, not to be mean to all the people who don't know what they're doing. It's perfectly fine. Much of my life, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but you know, just it's all good. It's not a race. It's, it's closer. Close. There it is. <laughs> how do how how do I how do I how do I how do I? Oh, there you go, <laughs> bro. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? I found him. <clears throat> Fantastic, Knuckles. Look at that A rank. You can't you can't tell me that that was that was hard. Like, come on. Come on, maybe your first time. First time's always the worst. Oh, uh, not crazy gadget. Let's do another fun level. Pyramid Cave is interesting. Prison Warrior. I love how I'm just doing Sonic and Knuckles. Like I swear, I swear I like the rest of the game. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but I don't know. I also the music. I really love the music in this game. Lots of, you know, rock and roll, but like I said, Knuckles rap songs, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. And then you have uh, Rouge's jazzy, jazzy tunes. Those are really, those are really catchy. I really love those. Security Hall. I actually think the whole, the entire soundtrack, or at least most of the soundtrack, whatever Sega or Sonic Team decide to release, uh, that's all on Amazon. I think it's on iTunes as well, which is kind of interesting because you don't see a lot of video game soundtracks get released digitally, and Sonic Team tends to do that. They, I always get hit there. Sonic Team tends to let, get their uh, soundtracks released, which is really nice. I mean, I hate illegally downloading stuff, and I don't. Um, the only... Yeah, I, I really don't. I think I've... Yeah, I don't think I've ever really illegally downloaded anything. I just end up putting the songs on you, like putting them on YouTube on repeat or something, because it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Support your businesses. Support your local Japanese... Uh, musicians and purchase their soundtracks. <laughs> um, yeah, this just turned into a public service announcement. And jump. And jump. And let's see here. Soap. S good old soap shoes. I'd love to have seen, I think I've seen like a pair of those in real life like once, but I mean it was a Google picture. I don't think I've ever actually looked them up like other than like the one time that I was like, oh, soap shoes were an actual thing. But, I mean, I guess grinding on stuff is a cool hobby to have. I, I don't know. It's one of those extreme sports that I'm too lazy to try. <laughs> Let's see here. These things are the ban of my existence in Sonic Generations uh, 3DS. I hate those little, those barrel things. I hate those things. And failure. And let's grind down here. Jesus! <laughs> That's pretty bad. I thought I was gonna die there. Just gonna die. And spin dash to win. Oh, you know what? I almost I was thinking, I'm playing this and no I just thought of like how much I wanted to play, uh how much I wanted to play, what game is it? Well, let me try this. I don't think I've ever really gone off this ramp. It's such a stupid little ramp. That's so dumb. Um, I really want to play Sonic, uh, not Colors, Heroes now. That game is pretty, that game is pretty fun. Uh, I like that game quite a bit. It's a really neat mechanic. I like Sonic Classic Heroes, actually. It's a ROM hack. You've probably seen it if you are a Sonic fan. Um, featured in the Sonic Hacking Contest. I think it was out, not just this year, but last year it was out as well. I'm not sure if it was the first year it was released, but... That's a pretty fun game. You get to play Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles all at once, or you get to play as the Chaotix, uh, Espio, the Chameleon, Vector the Crocodile, and Charmy B. 
I, I don't think it's Charmy the B. I'm pretty sure it's Charmy B. Die. So Here that's pretty go. cool. But I, I'll, I might have to buy that for the Wii U. I have it for the Xbox, like the original Xbox. And I guess I could connect my 360 to the Hop Hog. But I just feel so bad breaking that thing out. It's so old. It's like the original launch model 360 that doesn't even have it. It doesn't have HDMI. It's the only component. It's pretty sad, but uh. Select the stage. Um, let's see. We have ten minutes. Let's do. Let's do one more. We're gonna do. I kind of want to do. You know, I think I might save. Uh, I might save Wild Canyon for a little bit later. Um, let's do. So so difficult. I'm not doing Mad Space. Mad Space is one level that I just no not having. Uh, let's go Pyramid Cave. Why not? Pyramid Cave, A.K.A. the inside of Sandopolis Zone, A.K.A. every sand zone ever. Really good music in here. Um, these tubes remind me of something. Where? I'm pretty sure Sonic has done this elsewhere. I don't know. Sonic referencing other Sonic games. I love this music though. It's just it's so good. Everything about this game is just really fun. I mean, except for like. I don't know. It, it's interesting because the adventure series, how they they started with the whole you know story based gameplay, you know there's actual cutscenes and stuff. And I think it's interesting because you compare a story game like a, you compare I mean you compare a 3D Mario game to a 3D Sonic game, and at least consider like Sonic Adventure to Sonic Adventure One. Um, I mean sorry, Mar Mario 64 to Sonic Adventure One. You know, Sonic Adventure had so many more cutscenes than Mario 64. E, 102, Omega, Gamma, Beta, Person, the guy, I love you. You're so sad that you died. I think you died, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, shows you how much I play his story in Sonic Adventure. Um, go! Um, ooh. Let's get that, and no. What was I saying? Oh, but yeah, there's so many more cutscenes in Sonic Adventure 1 compared to like Mario 64. And then you look at Sunshine, and there are way more cutscenes in Sonic Adventure 2 than Sunshine. So I think, in terms of like a character with his 3D debut, Mario definitely has held on a little bit better. I think by avoiding having a whole bunch of cutscenes, it really allowed them to focus on the gameplay. You know, Sonic has never been a heavy story game. It's Dr. Robotnik is bad. Stop him. Oh my god. Am I gonna die here? No. I don't think those guys hurt you. Lots of key. Lots of uh, clicking in that. Yeah. <laughs> the little animal noise is so adorable too. I love how Sonic grabs ledges in this game. It's like, what's the point of that? But I mean, it's a useful mechanic, I guess. And go, go, go. I actually got a lot of recording done today. Um, I think I got about three episodes of Super Mario 3D World. I did the Zelda, what I'm playing. That's not the way to go. And then, which is, that's going to be like 30 minutes. I guess I'll be up before this, so you'll see that. And then, I'll just try to edit that tonight and then upload it um, as soon as possible to make it relevant. Um, and then, this thing. So about, what, five videos? Which is... Well, more, wow, that was awesome. More than I get done during the week, so I can't complain about that. And go back. Alright, those guys are actually a little bit nicer than the ghosts from Sandopolis Zone. So, can't complain about those guys. Run! Hurry! I also really... Come on out. Come on out. Okay. I re Go! No! I don't even know if mashing buttons helps you get out of that. Um, come on, man. I have never been stuck by these guys so much. I didn't think they were that, like... Wow, that was close. Go! Hurry! Run! This reminds me of, uh, for some reason, the Battle Pyramid from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Um, not the Battle Pyramid. Well, I guess it would, but the, uh... That snake girl, snake woman, the battle serpent, it reminds me of that. It's all snaky and stuff. Um, gold beetle. And go, go, go! Should almost be done with this level, I think. It's a relatively long level. Can't complain about that. And come on now. Oh, Mystic 
Mystic Melody? Is that what that's called? I think that's what that's called. Let's go with that. I remember when... I think it was the summer... The summer I got Sonic Colors, actually. I went back and rebought this game. I have the Dreamcast version, but I never owned Battle for some reason. I have SA1 uh, Director's Cut for the game, but I never got this game. Um, it was I think that was the same year that it came out, the HD remastered thingy for uh, PSN, Xbox Live, and I guess it was on Steam. So, uh, really haven't touched this game that much compared to Sonic Adventure 1. But anyway, I think that's about 15 minutes, so... Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.